hey, hey, hey. You want to be called doctor? Doctor. <laughs> okay, so the big question everybody will ask is, is medicine and surgery a good cost to study? You know, um, I already know you know the answer. Yes, it's a good cost to study. It's a lucrative cost to study. And that's why almost everybody wants to study what? Medicine and surgery. So, um, but why is it hard for people to get medicine and surgery? Why is it that every single year you see people applying for medicine and surgery and then people don't get it? I'm going to take you through this journey. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to figure out how to get admission into the department of medicine and surgery. Now, when you're done with school, I mean, it's a six year course plus your housemanship is seven years but when you're done with school you're gonna graduate with the degree of MBBS so you're gonna have two bachelors bachelor of medicine and then bachelor of surgery so it's general you know and that's why when you study medicine um, and surgery you know it's like your gen it's, like, it's a general uh, course as it were and then finally some people have to now major maybe in ENT maybe in, they can become pediatricians whatever the case may be but it's a great great course to study let's look at okay so before we even continue talking let me just quickly tell you that Abia State University has lost its accreditation for medicine so if you are studying medicine this year, do not apply to Abia State University. They've lost the accreditation. Remember that if you want to check for the accreditation of your school, and, and, and this is one thing I always advise you, if you are going to put in for medicine in any school in Nigeria, it is important that you check for the accreditation of that school with the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria. I mean, the website is going to be like somewhere in this video, so you can click on it and then check, uh, you know, if your school is accredited you know if your school is not accredited then you really need to like ch consider changing your school to another school so abia state university has lost its accreditation don't feel abia state university this year if you're studying medicine and surgery you don't want to lose your mind right because even if they say they can take people for medicine and surgery they have lost their accreditation for medicine now I know you are you clicked on this video because yes you also applied to study medicine and surgery. That's one reason why you're here, and that's one reason why you clicked on the video. But just like you, so many other people apply to study medicine and surgery every single year. Now let me give you a statistics of from 2019 to 2020 to 2021, we had a total number and then 2022. Now every single year, 497,000 people and more apply to study medicine medicine and surgery now what's the carrying capacity of every university um, both private and public and state put together uh, for medicine and surgery in this country right it's 30,000 now 30,000 is the carrying capacity that means that is what the universities can take that's carrying capacity but what is the allotted spaces and i'm going to put down um you know the website where you can go and check all the allotted spaces uh for medicine and surgery in all the universities in nigeria right so allotted spaces is different from carrying capacity carrying capacity is what the universities are able to accommodate if they allow them now but allotted spaces is what the medical council is saying you should take and then what NUC is also saying you should take. So even if your carrying capacity as a school is uh, 1,000, if the allotted spaces to you is 120, it's only 120 you can take. And re remember who allots? Two people. NUC allots uh, spaces and the medical, council, medical and Dental Council of Nigeria also allots spaces, right? So for most of the schools you are applying to, if you check the allotted spaces that they have, it's maybe 100 and maybe 120. So you are seeing, you know, this scenario where everybody wants to study medicine but then the spaces are not there and even if the carrying capacity is 30,000 you know for all the universities in the country you know what is the allotted spaces just 4,000 4,000 for both private public and state universities in the entire country so you are I mean I'm just trying to take you through this journey so that you can understand why it is that uh, you know you should really work hard if you're going to study medicine and surgery and I'm also going to show you some things you need to know and how to get admission into the department of basic medicine and surgery right what's the general cutoff mark for medicine
2018. If you have 280 and above, you stand a great chance to get admission into uh, the medicine and surgery department, regardless of the school you actually have chosen. But then there are other factors that we're going to consider as we go along in the video to tell you and show you exactly how you can get admission this year into the department of medicine and surgery. It's not as hard, it's not as complicated as people always make it sound. Is it challenging? Yes, it is. But let me show you the practical steps. So the first step is your score, and that's um, 280 and above. If you have 280 and above, I'll tell you some other steps as I go down into the video, and let's be talking about this together. So officially, it takes six years to study medicine and surgery in any Nigerian university. Now, in those six years, we, it is divided into three stages, right? The first stage is the pre-med, and the second stage is the pre-clinicals, and then the last stage of your study would be clinicals, and it is in those clinical times you begin to the hospital that are doing quite a lot of practicals, right? So that is um, the three stages that you're going to face in the six years of studying medicine. Now, if you don't like blood, that's not to say you can't study medicine, you know, but at least it's a pointer to the fact that maybe your time in the clinic is not going to be too much inside the... But if you don't like blood, why are you studying medicine? <laughs> so aside the regular schools, I mean, which is your federal schools, your state schools, and your private schools, there are some schools that are dedicated to what medicine and medical sciences. Now, this is just quickly to inform you that um, most of these schools are still under accreditation, but it is important that you be like a first mover, right? Take advantage of the, uh, because they will give you admission easily if you, you know, start with them. For instance, you know, Bayelsa University of Medical Sciences is one school you want to consider if you're studying medicine and surgery this year, you can apply to do that school. And then, you know, the chances of getting admission is really, really high, you know? Now, let's also talk about some things you should consider. I've talked about considering accreditation. Before you, before, don't be like a blind person, right? Before you go into studying medicine and surgery in any school, consider number one, is it accredited? Number two, what is their location? What is the allocation by NUC and what is the allocation by the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria? I told you the website is already there, but I also just put a long list of like all the schools uh, and also their carrying capacity so that you will understand the need to study hard. You understand? Okay, that's very, very important. So uh, these are the things you should consider before choosing a school. Consider the accreditation status of the school. Consider the NUC allocation of, uh, to the school. Consider the Medical and Dental Council, uh, you know, allocation to that school and consider if that school is partially or fully accredited. So it's very important to consider all these things before choosing to study medicine and surgery in any university, state, federal or private. That, okay, so now that we're done with that, let's talk about the admission itself. Proper, proper, proper. Okay, we've talked about number one. Your cutoff mark is very important. It's important that your cutoff mark, you know, is above 280. The next thing that you need to start looking at is, is that school a federal school or a state school? You know, you need to look at your catchment area because sometimes it's very important that you take advantage. Jam has already told us that the way they will give admission is that they will give admission via merit, via catchment area, and via educationally less developed states, right? So they are saying, these are the three criteria they are going to look at when giving admission. Remember that the school can only recommend you for admission. It is JAM that finally gives admission. And how they calculate or how they give admission is that every admission, 45% is already on merit, right? What is merit? You do well in your post TME, you do well in your screening, you know, your JAM score is good, good JAM score, good post TME score, that's merit, you know? You get your admission. For JAM score is maybe just 280. You know, it's not as high, it's not up to 300. You know, it's very important that you look for a school that is within your catchment area. You know, don't be when your, your score is not as high. Now, for medicine, to get admission into the Department of Medicine and Surgery, you need to do very well. So if you got 280 and above, prepare to do your post TME very well. But to increase your chances of getting admission into the department, you need to start considering schools that are within your catchment area. Although, if you are someone that you are saying, Mr. Zion, I'm going to blast pursue me. So you don't need to talk about catchment area. That is not your problem. <laughs> you understand, you know, whether you come from catchment area or not, if you do very well, you get the admission on merit. 
Okay, I understand. We've talked about medicine so well, right? <laughs> what if I didn't score up to 280, Mr. Zion? What if I didn't score up to 200? What if my score is not as magnificent as you're talking about it right now? What will I do? Okay, um, there's still hope for you. So um, we always say something that, you know, you don't change the plan. You don't change the goal. Uh, you can always change the plan, you know? One reason why you wanted to study medicine in the first place is that you wanted to care for people. Even if you don't know it in your mind, one big reason why you, you are drawn to medicine, apart from the fact that some people are drawn to it because they think it's going to give them money, all those ones are wrong reasons. You know, anything you do from your heart that helps another person definitely will give you money. So money should not be your first reason why you should study medicine and surgery. You know, medicine and surgery is a cost for care. It's a cost to help people. So if they ask you what, what is one reason why you want to study medicine, and surgery because I want to save lives, because I want to care for people, because I want to help humanity. You know, so it's very important to understand the reason why I study medicine and surgery in the first place. So um, with that in mind, knowing the reason why you want to study medicine and surgery, let's look at this. Now, you, you, your score is not very fantastic, but you still want to study something within that space. Now, medicine and surgery, like I said before, is a great, great course to study in Nigeria. So one of the courses you can study um, like, that like is related to medicine and surgery is dentistry. You know, dentistry is a very, very great course to study. And dentistry is also a very globally mobile course. You must look for courses that can open opportunities for you, not just in your country, but in other countries. Another related course you can study if you are not studying medicine and surgery, or if you are looking for something related, because I always advise people, even if you put medicine and surgery as the first choice of course when you are filling your post TME, your second choice of course should not be medicine and surgery. It should be something related. Seeing how competitive medicine and surgery has become, you really want to put something else. And uh, when you are when you, when you are giving the choice to put two courses in your post TME, you want to put something else that helps you. So medicine and surgery is one, and then the other one you can put things like you know what other courses that we're talking about now. Dentistry can be there. Public health is also a great course physiotherapy is also a great course for you to study uh you know as it were you know community health is also a great course for you to study it's also very related uh into the medical line anatomy is another great course uh, that you want to look at also if you are studying uh, if you wanted to study medicine and then your cut off mark was not up to you can look at some other related courses like i am mentioning so another one is optometry you know the eyes <laughs> Microbiology is another one, and uh, biochemistry is another one. I think biochemistry is what my wife studied. <laughs> you know, uh, so it's very, very important that you know you you don't you don't sit at home saying that it must be medicine and surgery. I understand, but because you want to be called doctor, it's good. But the, the big picture is important. Yes, I wanted to study medicine and surgery, but I don't want to sit at home this year. So it's very important that I look for something related. If my score was not up to, and then there are some, there are some, there are some, this, some of the related courses I've mentioned, some of, the, some of the schools take 160, some of them take 150, some of them take 140 as cut off mark for you to study these courses. So why kill yourself that it must be medicine and surgery if in the end your score is not up to? Look for something related and study it and then help yourself. So it's very important uh, that you begin to do that. All of the related courses I've mentioned right now, you can research on all of them. And I've also put out the list of all the schools that, uh, that study that offer medicine and surgery uh, and other related courses in Nigeria. I put out their, their, accredited, uh, their accreditation status and I've also put out the allocation that is given to them. It is very important that you take a look at, at that list uh, if you are intend, if you intend to study medicine and surgery for this. Okay, if you got to this part of the video, definitely it means that there's something that you did right. It definitely says something about your heart. I just want you to put in the comment section, I save lives, you know, because you're watching this because you want you want to do something in the medical line or you want to do something in the sciences. So I save lives is what I would like you to put uh, on the comment section. So just drop so just drop it in the comment section and say, I save lives. If you got to this part of the video, put it in the comment section, I save lives. And, and that is gonna help me um, you know, know that you got to this part of the video. Okay, so, 
So let's pray. Father, I thank you, Lord, for the person that watched this video. I ask you, bless their cause and bless their heart. I just ask you, continue to keep them, guide them, and protect them in the name of Jesus Christ. It's been a very great pleasure uh, talking to you today. Listen, what do you want to study? You want to study something else other than medicine and surgery? I need to do a video for you. So please put the course you want to study in the comment section so that I can know what the video will be next or if you have a video you want me to do for you um put it in the comment section and just let me know and i'm just going to try and make that video for you it's very important uh, that i do that video for you okay i need to go guys but then there are two other videos here that you can watch and then don't forget if this makes sense to you please subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video my name is zion you should be getting call me the academic mentor i love you Bye.